Today I'm going to talk about the three components that make up a roll of film. These happen to be reusable canisters, so we can reload these with bulk film multiple times. And so this is the type with a quarter turn uh, lid. So I'm going to spin this a quarter turn and I can remove it. I'll set the cap there. The spool portion is the inside portion that the film will eventually wrap around. And the final component is the canister portion. Actually move these up here. I have these all drawn on my piece of paper here so that I can label some individual components. The canister has two sides, a top and a bottom, and it also has these little felt strips here that allow the film to pass between them. Light cannot enter, film can uh, safely pass in and out of this canister. So the first thing I do when I grab one of these is I do a little visual inspection of this right here. Make sure that those strips are intact and nice and straight. Occasionally I'll find one that looks like this where the felt has been torn, folded out of the way, ripped, etc. I would reject this one, throw it away. I'm going to go ahead and label where those little pieces of felt are. There's one strip there and there's one strip there. And I just refer to that as the felt. There's two pieces of felt, top and bottom. And eventually our film will go between those two pieces and spool into our canister just like that. Moving down to the side view of the canister, you'll see that there is a large opening here. And down on this other side, there is a smaller opening. I've drawn this in the side view. Smaller opening is noted by these two lines here. And that end with the small opening, I refer to as the bottom. This here is the small opening. The top has the large opening that will accept the spool. Okay, moving from the canister over to the spool side, you're going to see that this thing has a couple little fins here. Then it has a longer side. There it is in the side view. And I refer to this as the long end technical. The cap portion, pretty simple. It does have a little triangular uh, protuberance right here. And that we'll talk about later. When this thing is assembled correctly, the spool drops into the top of the film canister in that fashion right there. Then the cap will be installed on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and draw this in so you can see that the long end of the spool faces the top of the canister. And then the cap is installed right there. And those are your three components.